Welcome back everyone to another Arcade Collections video. Today's video will be one of three videos that will cover a collector's edition game for the Xbox One. I have a few Xbox games, uh, but I only own three collector's edition games for the Xbox One, and this is the first one, being ReCore. There we are. So, I, I bought this game because it was on sale at Mighty Ape. Uh, truth be told, I did not know what the game was all about. I didn't do any research before the game came out, and the only reason why I bought this game was because it was priced at 78 New Zealand dollars. Look, I didn't even think twice. I clicked on the buy now, and before I knew it, I was standing in the collection area before, you know, waiting for my name to be called out to pick up the game. I also remember that I was actually shocked to see how big this box was. Yeah, I thought based on the price of the item, the box was going to be a lot smaller. So, out of all of the collector's edition boxes that I own, this is probably one of the biggest, if not the biggest. Uh, so, look, before we go ahead and take a look at the box, I'll show you I'll show you the shipping box that this came in on. So, give me a second, let me just move this out of the way. Right, and here it is. Here is the shipping box. So, as you can see, Record Collector's Edition, uh, Project Triforce, Ship 2, that's the, that's where Mighty Apes based, essentially. Um, it is number 12 of 50. Okay? And, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty big. That, that's, just in case you're wondering, that is the dimensions of the, um, of the box itself. So, yeah, you can see it, it, it's pretty, it's, um, it's, it's big. That's all I can say, it's, it's pretty big. Alright? Okay. Let me get that out of the way for you, and let's get back to the Record box itself. Right, um, I'll tell you what, if you're still wondering how big this is, here is an Xbox One controller that I've got. I'm going to put it next to it, that, that's how big it is. So um, hopefully you can, yeah, you can uh, judge how, how big that is just by looking at this. So that's how big it is. It's, uh, like I said, it's, it's, it's pretty big, yeah? Now, uh, right, the box itself. So there's no, there's no real special embossing or textured surface on on the box or in the card surround. By the way, there is a card surround, as you can see here. Um, it's just normal, uh, what is it, matte graphics. Um, so yeah, there is the front. Um, if we go to the one side, that's what it looks like. The, um, the other side basically looks like that, right? And finally, the back, as usual, gives you the contents of, um, of the box, right? So you'll also notice that uh, there is no information here about the game. Very different from a PlayStation game where you have information about you know how many players it supports, how many, how much space it will take, uh, how many network players it can support, etc. Well, usually you know down here or somewhere, right? But this is yeah different. So um, yeah, as you can see here, this is what you get in the game. So I'll see if I can hold it up uh, as close as possible to the camera. There we go. So you've got the exclusive metal case. You have the uh, Jewel and K9 Premium Collector statue. You have the Corbot Alphabet decoder dial and you get three, uh, is that three? No, just a single exclusive lithograph. All right, there we are. So uh, yeah, so that's that's it really. Um, there's no nothing else uh, in it. So <clears throat> if I take off the card surround, uh, I'll show you what the actual box look like. So here we go. There it is, there's a card surround off. And the, the main box itself, uh, yeah, it doesn't have, really have any interesting graphics. Like, like I said, nor does it have any embossing, uh, no textured surface, anything like that. Uh, and it is similar to the card from the front, just, you know, basically is missing the Recore uh, name and, and Jewel and K9. Uh, but the side looks the same, the back is just plain, and the other side, yeah, it's just that, right? And if you're wondering what the bottom looks like, that's it, it's just black, nothing else. Okay? Alright. Now. Uh, let's, uh, let's take a look of, of um, oh, okay. also, the top has this record as well, okay, just in case you're wondering, I, I forgot to show you that. Okay, now, uh, there is another detail that you also should see, so I'll show you, and to open the box, there's a little flap here that you need to pull out, and then the lid just basically, you know, lifts up. Uh, so this is the detail that I want to show you, so hopefully I can show you this, here we go, there it is. You see the um, uh, the two inner flaps as you open the lid. There are information printed on them. So on one side, it shows you how to handle. I'm just gonna rotate this. There we go. It shows you how to handle the statue, and on the other side, shows you a warning. 
right huh let's see if I can twist this around there we go it shows you the warning okay now I think um, I think it's a really good material saving initiative from the studio they use every available space on the box yeah plus it is a big box so they have the space to print them on the flaps instead of having to print them out and you know on a separate piece of paper all right okay so yeah enough enough about the box let's take a look at the contents so the first thing I'm going to show you is the game case all right and here it is so uh, yeah there's nothing much to show here uh, besides the you know besides the front cover there we are uh, there's the, the spine and there is the back cover as you can see here those are the details of the game and inside you only get the single Xbox disc all right no, nothing else no um, yeah no instruction manual or anything uh, yeah, I, I would have liked an actual instruction manual or booklet that details the story, controls, characters, etc. But yeah, unfortunately, not this time. Um, if I remember correctly, there is also a digital instruction manual that you can get. Uh, but yeah, that's that's where most games are heading uh, nowadays. Now, the next item I have not opened. So this will be the first time I have opened these. So let's take a look at this. This is the steel case, steel book, whatever you want to call it. All right, so if I uh, if I take this out of the plastic bag, this is what it looks like. So it's it's nice and ooh, glossy. There we are. Okay, there's a spine. It says Recore, and there's uh, this is what the back looks like. The inside, nothing really special. Again, all it shows you. Uh, I I can't remember. I played a little bit of the game before, um, before I had to put it away because we were moving houses. But um, yeah, I. I uh, as far as I can remember, that is the, the in-game map, or part of the in-game map, so there we are. Okay, uh, we have the statue itself, which I also have never opened, so uh, let's go and take a look at that. And here is the statue, inside of the foam mold, foam box, whatever you want to call it. Uh, first of all, I have to um, show you this, the foam mold has a ReCore logo embossed in it, which is a nice touch. Um, but yeah, before we get to the what's inside here, which is obviously the statue, I want to show you one thing that I did miss beforehand. And that is the lithograph, which is contained inside this black envelope. And as you can see, I have not opened this, uh, so let's open it up and uh, yeah, see what's inside. Here is the black envelope, which contains lithograph. Now, as you can see, there's also an embossing of a logo on the front here. Um, I'm not entirely sure what logo that's from. I'm Vaguely remembering, I'm. It's probably from one of the corporations in game, uh, but there it is. There's a the back. So let's open it up and see. And there it is. There's a the back. It just has the uh, Microsoft Studio and Armature logo, and the front looks like that. And uh, yeah, it's a nice action shot there of Jewel and K9 with um with one of the bots in Recore. There we are. Okay, so that is the lithograph. Now we move on, finally, we move on to the statue itself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this on its back. And oh, by the way, that's where um, the disc, uh, sorry, the game case and the steel book sits, right? On, which is, that is, that is the top. And uh, this little um, divot here, that's where the lithograph sits, just in case you're wondering. So I'm going to turn this around and open this up. And here it is there is the statue and also the um, the round uh, what is that called again the decoder dial on the side there so as you can see there are two items in here um, you know one being the statue and I'll get to that shortly but I want to show you the decoder dial first so I'm gonna take this out uh, this one here okay I'm gonna move this uh, back up again and here is the decoder dial now as you can see the decoder dial um, yeah I haven't opened this and it's, it is still sealed. Um, so I'm gonna open this up and uh, we're gonna see what's inside. Starting off with the instruction manual for the decoder dial. So let's unravel this and see what this is about. So there we go. There is the Recore decoder dial instructions. How to decode the Corebot alphabet. Right, very cool, okay. And then we have the actual decoder itself. Uh, I think that's upside down. Yes, it is upside down. I'm sorry. And there it is. Uh, 
and the back uh, it just has a yeah um, Triforce 3 core Microsoft Studio logo there and that is uh, it's got a little bit of texture um, on the side there but uh, essentially the way you use it is um, yeah you 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 find wh what symbol it is that appears in game on the outer ring and then you um, you move it uh, you move the dial in the middle uh, and that will correspond to a a letter and that one there is P and then you have S uh, and then you have you know what is that K uh, and etc and then you can read the um, in, uh, you know the runes in in game yeah but that is the decoder dial okay so this is gonna be um, fun let's get on to the statue itself here we are there is the statue the record statue take a look at that this is it is big um, it's probably yeah. You know, it's one of the biggest that I've uh, actually. I may have another one that's that's uh, that's bigger, and that's um, that's coming up in the in one of the um, uh, next videos that I'm going to do. But uh, there it is. There is uh, K9 or uh, what is the core bot I think, and there's Jewel with her um, what is that rifle? Huh? Yeah, it's uh, it's very nicely done. So let's take a closer look at this. Uh, first of all, I'm going to show you the bottom. Uh, the bottom just has a recore. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to have to hold this uh, a different way. There we go. Uh, you can see there. Uh, where is it? There it is. There's a recore logo on the bottom, uh, and that is embossed as as well. Uh, yep, it is embossed. And there is. Let's let's look at K9 first of all. There is K9. Look at that. The detail. I gotta say the detail is amazing for a sta You know, for this statue. Um, there is jewel as well. Uh, and the you know the ground staying on a rock. All right. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna have to. There we go. There's there's Jules' face right there. Hopefully you can see that. All right. It's really really well done. Uh, I'm actually, yeah. Like I said, seventy eight dollars. Seventy eight seven eight. That's how much I spent on this collector's edition, and I <laughs> I could not be happier. Um, and yeah, yeah, as I mentioned earlier, um, I didn't expect, you know, for $78 to be something this big. I'm guessing, I'm guessing the game wasn't as popular as, um, as what it was, you know, expected to, to, to be. But, uh, yeah, I mean, for certain, I don't know, to be honest with you, I don't know how much it was when it first came out in, here in New Zealand. But, uh, yeah, I'm guessing, uh, I don't know, this was, uh, when was this, 20, 2016 or something? Um... Yeah, anyway, I'm, I'm very happy, but uh, there we have it, folks. Everything you get in the ReCore Collector's Edition for the Xbox One. So, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any future videos. Thank you, as always, for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.